Hello everybody, it's Dana Sullivan, the Stampin' Chick here, and it is time for Paper Pumpkin live or on the replay. <laughs> if you're seeing a little red live icon up there, then you're seeing me live, and if not, then you're watching the replay. <laughs> So, this month's kit is absolutely gorgeous. You can tell by the box, it is beautiful. It's titled Joy to the World, and this is a global kit. So, what that means is that P Paper Pumpkin is normally just available to North American customers. However, occasionally Stampin' Up! puts out a kit that is absolutely amazing and they make it available for uh, everyone in their sales markets. So Japan, Germany, the UK, Australia, all over and it's so much fun and everyone really loves it. And this month's kit is all about the holidays and sharing peace, love and joy. So let's get to it, shall we? When you open up the box, you'll see that this month's kit is eight cards, and of course it always includes the envelopes. So you have two different designs for each of two different designs, and they're absolutely gorgeous. One thing to note, if you're not uh, familiar with um, international sizing, is that these cards are not our standard American A2 size cards. So they're just a little bit bigger than that. And um, let me get, I always forget the measurements. So let me just get my ruler and show you. Uh, it is five and seven eighths by four and an eighth. Okay, five and seven eighths by four and an eighth. And uh, of course, the envelopes will fit, so uh, you don't have to worry about that when you're making your kit. Now, in the kit, they also have included these beautiful gold foil words. And um, they're in American, peace, love, and joy, in French, also, and German. So, as I had mentioned, that the kit is going to be a global kit this month, and uh, we can change out um, to send to a pen pal in another country or something. So, this was a lot of fun, not only because you can learn some new words in other languages, which is always fun, and these words specifically should be learned in multiple languages because they're beautiful words. All right, so, with that in mind, let me go ahead and pull out, I've got two sets pulled out and ready, but I want to show you the stamp set here. Now, the one thing that um, that is, okay, it's great that they put the different languages in the gold foil, but even though they did that, uh, for each market they got their own... Um, their own language for the stamps. So you're going to be able to use these for all of your other alternative projects and you know Christmas is here or coming up soon. Oh goodness <laughs> and it's time to start making those holiday cards. So you're going to be able to use these stamps for that and they're absolutely gorgeous. Um, so that's beautiful and I'm going to be able to show you some of the stuff that I've done with those because as always once I have finished making the projects in the kit, I'm going to show you some alternative projects as well. Now, because it's the holidays, I did focus almost exclusively on alternative cards. However, I do have a 3D uh, treat holder for you that I think you're going to like. So, all right, let's get to it, shall we? In the kit, you will find not only the supplies for the eight cards and envelopes, you get the Just Jade Ink Spa, which is great, and I'm in love with the twine. So Cherry Cobbler is one of my absolute favorite colors, and uh, not only are we using um, Just Jade for an ink spot, but we're also focusing a lot on Cherry Cobbler, so it suits me just fine. <laughs> let me uh, let me set this off to the side and do my my organization thing here. And 
Let's see, I've got two card bases, and instead of opening my ink spot, I'm just going to use my standard classic stamp pad. I've got my twine out, and uh, let's see here. So the first card is a landscape style card, and uh, as you can see here, we're saying Merry Christmas, and um, we've got these little flower die cut pieces here. So let's get to that, and this card is really simple to put together. They're absolutely beautiful, but the layers really make them look like they're more detailed than they actually are. So uh, as we're using photopolymer stamps, you wanna use a pierce mat, or if you don't have a pierce mat, you can use a phone book or a catalog or magazine or whatever. You just want something that has a tiny bit of cushion to it, and that will help you get a beautiful impression. All right, so I've already got Merry Christmas on a block and get my Just Jade ink. Tap, 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 not smush, smush, smush. And we're going to stamp this down right in the middle. And beautiful. Close that up because y'all know how I am. I will get ink all over me. Okay, now the assembly begins and really that's it. This one is a great one and it is beautiful. And I don't know if you're noticing, but there is some texture on this white cardstock. It, um, it resembles an embossing folder we used to have not too long ago that had um, a cable sweater or cable sweater knit or something to that effect. Anyway, uh, it's really pretty. It's got some beautiful cable and knit pattern here and it's just great. So let's put some dimensionals on the back side. We'll do that. How's everybody doing? I see some folks are in here. Hello, hello. Feel free to say hi, chat with me. I was kind of a nervous wreck today because my baby, my youngest baby, uh, got her driver's license today. So she's a free little bird and now I'm scared out of my mind. <laughs> she, um, just before I went live, asked if she could go and pick up dinner and uh, because it's her night to cook and the rule is that uh, you're either cooking or you're paying for takeout. And uh, because she's a grown-up now, you know, she's got a job and she does grown-up things and, and all of that stuff. So, um, so she wanted to go get dinner and I had a sudden panic attack because the place where she wanted to get dinner is in the next town over. And it's not a city by any means, but it's a really big town. <laughs> And it's got a lot of traffic, and I, I had a panic attack. Like, ah, no, no, no. So she asked her dad if he would go with her, and so they went to get food. <laughs> All right, we're just going to wrap um, just a couple times here around our hand to get uh, a little bit of this twine. <laughs> and basically, I'm going to put a little, like, crisscross of adhesive here just to hold this stuff down because I really I just want it to stay kind of it's supposed to look kind of cattywampus here but I tell you what I always fuss with these things and and they drive me bonkers and so I'm just gonna do my own thing and you do you babe and I'll do me babe and see I struggle with this you would think something so simple or it could be that I'm still frazzled with the idea that my child is driving. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> here we go. All right, looking good. Not really, but it will once we put the, uh, put the pieces of flowers here because that's not going to stay. It's curling up on me. <laughs> there we go. All right. Now, this is going to be put on with just some uh, snail adhesive, or not snail, oh my goodness, some stamp and seal. So let me, let me just run some across here, and that way I'll be able to uh, get this unruly twine under control here. 
so you'll see I'm gonna sandwich it down just a bit so I want this to go kind of like I believe there and then this one is gonna go like I really want you to overlap a little more than that and maybe bring you down here so I'm gonna talk to myself I don't know if you folks do that too or or if it's just me but <laughs> I'm awful about talking to myself see why is this twine being so hateful to me all right there we go we're gonna leave it because otherwise I will drive myself bananas okay and then I'm gonna put this piece across here and I'm gonna put this on dimensionals because I'm gonna glue this piece directly over the top of it and then we will be done so if you want to just put uh, some stamp and seal across the center section here and then go ahead and assemble the label first and then grab your dimensionals that is a-okay all right there we go I have to admit I am in love with the stamp set in this kit the colors are absolutely beautiful you know I don't use just jade nearly as often as I should uh, but it's a really pretty color so all right now we're just gonna go like this and actually I'm gonna try hopefully successfully to slide this piece over because I need it to go just a little bit more I got it a little too close to the edge of my paper here we go now if you ever happen to accidentally stick something somewhere or have to decide to move it or whatever if you just take your time and are very careful with it generally you can pull it right off all right so we'll move it over just a little bit more that's better and then put this piece down there we go all right that's good okay now that card is done and that was super super easy I say super easy I struggled with that twine I'm not gonna lie to you <laughs> you watched you saw uh, Sharon hey oh you haven't got your kit yet oh no Miss Jennifer yes floss is very helpful in removing stuff so if you have something super stuck and it doesn't come off when you're trying to gently pull it you can take floss and just slide it in between the paper and it'll lift it off yeah you're right all right there is card number one now that the struggle is over let's try <laughs> card number two. Oh goodness now this one has multiple options if you look on the printout here you'll see that it's got um, the three different words so you've got joy to the world love to you and yours sending peace uh, so you can choose any any uh, variation of that that you want to and um, I'm gonna do the word peace so let me uh, let me turn this one right side up because this is a vertical card and uh, this one is gonna go across here we're gonna do some stamping here and here and um, let me bring that pierce mat back out now one thing I have noticed or maybe I've just not figured out yet is that I'm not really finding a particular way for this to line up with this I mean it lines up mostly uh, and this is the greenery part of the wreath so it's already got some stuff printed on here and then when you stamp this part it really brings out the wreath uh, but um, I haven't really got it lined up to to uh, stamp perfectly so I'm just gonna be totally honest with you there and say that I turned this thing uh, what I thought was every which way and even as I'm coming along now I'm really not finding 
a particular way that is perfectly matched. So I recommend, um, unless you find the way that it's perfectly matched, which maybe it is, and it probably is somewhere, but uh, I recommend just finding a spot that looks similar and, um, and just do it, okay? So that's my, my semi-professional advice to you there <laughs> for what it's worth. Just, just do it, okay? Just do it. All right, so with that in mind, let's just do it. Tap, tap, tap. And line this up without putting my face or any other body parts in the camera. There we go. <laughs> and there we are. Okay. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, and then while I had the pierce mat out, let me go ahead and stamp our sentiment here. Since I'm using Peace, I am going to go ahead and follow uh, the picture on the instruction sheet. So I'm going to stamp sending in this one. Uh, but you could certainly use um, Peace to you and yours or Peace to the world. I mean, listen, Peace is good. Use whatever you want to do. Do you, babe. All right. So I'm going to put sending right here again trying to make sure that I'm staying out of the camera view and still being able to line up my picture okay let me set this off to the side bring this back in I put my different words in Ziploc baggies just because um, I wanted to go ahead and pop them all out uh, because I cut up the uh, outer edges of the um, the frames that hold the letters, words, you know, the things, the things, you know. Um, these deals. <laughs> I cut them up. I cut, I cut a bunch around it, so I was able to salvage some for uh, elements for the alternative projects, which I'll be able to show you here in just a minute. So um, when I pop them all out, I put them in Ziploc baggies, and be really careful because the words that have an I in them, uh, or the J for joy, the dots are tiny, tiny. The J isn't so bad, but the eyes, the dots for the eyes are so tiny. They're almost microscopic. Um, so I put them in Ziploc baggies uh, with each word having their own bag so that I wouldn't lose them and it keeps them um, tidy and organized. And it, they're very delicate, so it keeps them from being totally thrashed, you know, because see they're very very delicate so uh, anyway you can store them however you like of course but that's what I'm doing with mine okay now I've got my piece here and uh, what I want to do first is I want to put this over this so just like so and it looks like I want it to be close to the bottom and then I'm going to put this piece right here. So I'm going to layer this close to the bottom. And I see that uh, the loop in the P, the E, the C, and the E are uh, open to the, uh, to the wreath. I can't speak tonight. So anyway, I'm going to put some liquid glue on those spots. So that way the glue doesn't seep through the card. Um, or get glue everywhere because that's a very distinct possibility right now there we go and then the C and I'm just dotting tiny little dots and the E and if you find that you've put just a touch too much then just go ahead and and dot it off and then wipe it onto a wipey or a paper towel okay there we go all right, let's put this across here. Needs to be near the bottom like so. There we go. Beautiful. And then 
We'll set these aside for just a minute and I'm going to assemble this on the card because I'm going to put a dimensional behind here and dimensionals behind here. So if you wanted to, you could just put a little dot of glue right there. In fact, we could just do that. That's just as well. Just put a little spot right in the middle of the label and then I feel like that's crooked. Yes, it is. There we go. There we go. All right. Now, with this piece, we're going to wrap some twine around it before we attach it because we're going to be tying a beautiful little bow right here on the side. I did discover one thing about this twine a little bit ago when I was making my alternative projects. And that is um, that the twine will curl, if you use your bone folder to uh, curl it like curly ribbon, it'll curl into a really pretty little spiral curl. Alright, now, listen, don't give me any fits, because the first card already gave me fits. So, let's do this and don't be a brat. Alright, here we go. So anyway, I thought that was a pretty interesting little discovery. Uh, one of the cards that I'm going to show you here in a minute, I um, I used it on, and it's super cute. I love the way that it curled, so I thought that was neat. All right, there we go. Move this out of the way. Okay, now it appears, and uh, uh, per the instruction and what we just did with the other one, that both of the cards designs. Uh, the white part is going to be popped up on dimensional. So just like we did with the other one, we're going to put, we're going to put this card, um, layer on dimensional. So let's just go ahead and add those to the back here. There we are. There we go. All right. We'll put it right here in the middle. Like that. Ish. <laughs> Ish. It's in the middle. Okay, and then we'll put dimensionals on the wreath as well. Now, I can get away with using three here, and I'm just staggering them in a triangle shape, and that really helps. Of course, you can use as many or as few as you want. Probably wouldn't do any fewer than three, though. I think two's probably too few. All right, and then we're going to put this... Right here. Let me make sure and get it straight first because straight is relative with these letters. There we go. There. All right, there we go. Project number two. Now these are really simple and fabulous projects but they've got a lot of layers and it makes them very interesting and um, so anyway I absolutely love them I think they're fabulous I was really surprised by the size of the cards I wasn't expecting them to be bigger than a2 however uh, since the envelopes are included, it works out perfectly. And uh, because they're rectangle-shaped cards, uh, here in the States anyway, you're not going to be paying more for postage. So it's still just a standard postage stamp. Um, so no worries there. All right, let's get to the alternative projects, shall we? Okay. The first alternative project, I used uh, the French Harmony for a uh, piece. And um, it's very similar to uh, the kit design. I did take one of the envelopes and um, 
uh, dismantled it so that I could get this beautiful paper background here. And then um, it, you can see that just adding that piece on there just really makes a huge difference in the card and where your focus is. Um, then I also added some little red rhinestones from the Holiday Rhinestone Collection. So that just added the extra little bit of cherry cobbler and made it pop. Okay, and then the next one is another one that focuses on the kit elements itself. I used a couple of the flowers, put one on dimensionals, put the other one directly on the card, and this is just a little strip of early espresso ink, or early espresso cardstock, holy mackerel. And then uh, a couple of the little rhinestones here to add just a little bit of bling to it. And then I stamped uh, the flower and cherry cobbler on the inside because as we say of course no naked insides and no naked envelopes so the envelope will have uh, the same little flower stamped on it and then the next one I absolutely love because of how simple it is um, this is that faux suede trim from the annual catalog, which is fabulous. And then cherry cobbler cardstock that I have embossed with the uh, textured embossing folder. And then this is that hinge technique using the Stamparatus. So it makes them line up perfectly on the paper. And the Merry Christmas stamp is just the right size. So you can go down one step each time and it's perfect. So I absolutely loved that one. And then the next one I really enjoyed. This one I brought in some cherry cobbler for the card base. I used that same textured embossing folder for the early espresso layer. I've dismantled one of the cards and used a part of it for a background and then used another piece of the envelope to layer over the top. And then one of the uh, gold banners, of course, the floral die cut. And then I brought in some of the uh, pool party rhinestones, or yeah, pool party, <laughs> oh my goodness, pool party rhinestones uh, to embellish it. And I thought it was just beautiful. And then on the inside, I stamped the wreath with the beautiful little uh, berries and the Merry Christmas. So I thought that was great. This one's probably my favorite. And then... I went completely off the rails and did a chalkboard type look with the Joy Stamp and this is embossed with white embossing powder and uh, the little wreath to the world because we've got Joy to the world, right? And then uh, here's a little piece of gold trim that I managed to uh, to commandeer from the, um, uh, the words die, die cut sheet. And then on the inside, the joy in the corner here. So I thought that was great. And then this one is a type of fancy fold. I brought in some Just Jade cardstock, which I wasn't really sure how, how I was going to like it. But uh, bring that in with the soft sea foam, which I also don't really get to use very often. And they go very well. Of course they do, because that's the colors that are used uh, in the floral pieces. So I've used the floral pieces. I cut just one edge off of the uh, gold banner here and then layered the Merry Christmas up on top so that it's very nice. And this is the fun part. The way that this card opens is more like a book. So I've put a score line here. This is one inch away from the center score line and then glued it down and then turned it into a book style card. And then on the inside, I've got to you and yours. So it's Merry Christmas to you and yours. And then I've brought that little floral image in again. Super cute, right? Now this is a standard A2 size card. So the base of this is actually four and a quarter by 11, uh, scored at five and a half, and then scored at six and a half. So um, that gives you this card base. Fabulous. All right, and then I told you that I have a 3D project to share with you as well. This box was made from one of the cards, and uh, I'm using the little Starburst um, clear gusseted bags from the annual catalog to put some Hershey's nuggets in, and then uh, did the Joy and To the World piece here with the stamped images, 
and brought in some of the red rhinestones, used uh, some of the twine to make a bow for the wreath, and then also a bow for the bag. Super cute. All right, friends, how do you feel about this kit? Do you love it? What do you think about the projects? Are they fun? I really enjoyed the kit. I enjoyed making the alternative projects. The whole thing was just a lot of fun. I hope that you guys enjoyed and that you have fun with your kit as well. Please leave a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite alternative project was. Uh, I will have all of these um, posted on the Paper Pumpkin Groupies um, Facebook page. I will have some of them showing up on my blog in the next few days. And uh, you can find my blog at stampinchicktn.blogspot.com or thestampinchick.com. Very easy. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, bye for now.